This is Larry. This is uh, the end of week one, day seven of the 30 day Lico challenge. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, counting elements. Uh, you know, uh, counting elements. Given an integer array, oh, count element x such that x plus one is also an array. Uh, if this, if there are duplicates in R, count them separately. Uh, one and two are counted because it's two and three on the array. Okay. It's there. Um, hmm. That seems pretty straightforward. I mean, so the so my first um, instinct is just to do it in two pass, right? Um, but uh, can you do it better? That's what that's what I'm trying to think right now. Uh, I guess not because hmm, because you have to go both direction, right? Yeah, I guess not. So, wait. Yeah, and given that n is a thousand, uh, a linear time algorithm will, will definitely be fast enough anyway. So I wouldn't think about the constant optimization. Uh, but, and in fact, uh, we could kind of, <laughs> at least if you're using Python, you could kind of cheat a little bit with um, that um, to get already get the lookup. And if I'm in competitive programming mode, this is what I would have done. Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to think about in an interview, can I have done better? But maybe I should have done it first. And then now you could do. Uh, if, if you want to do a one liner. Uh, Something like that, right? Uh, I just contribute, but I, I'm too used to um, I'm too used to the uh, the contest where and I'm t facing a code, but where they give you where you click on that button and tell and it puts in all the example cases for you, which I guess we don't have anymore. Uh, at least for non contest though it would be nice. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, oh wait, is this true? Two ones are counted separately, but they don't have to count, like, okay, so yeah, so that's actually, that's good enough for me then, let's submit it. Yeah, that's pretty much it, um, okay, so that's the linear time algorithm, this is a, I, I mean, this is almost like, uh, fist plus, plus plus, uh, you know, if you know hash table, you know how to solve this, but can you solve it in better than uh, better than linear space? I guess. Not. Oh, well, I mean you can, but then there's a time uh, time space trade off. So you can certainly sort and then do this search, uh, and that would take no extra space, but that'll be n log n. Uh, so that's another possible solution. But but can you do it in linear time and no extra space? I don't know. Hmm. Use a hash set. Okay, well, so the hint pretty much tells you to do the naive thing. Okay, so I mean, it is just a simple problem of a for loop. Anyway, um, I think for an interview question, this is too easy. And um, and if this is competitive programming, I probably would get this in about a minute. Uh, and like, actually, literally. And if you look at my, comp you know, for these kind of easies, that's actually about my uh, submission time for the easies. So. Hmm. Not sure. For that reason, it is probably like a, it's a little bit too easy for an integral question. Anyway, okay. Well, week one down. Hopefully, next week uh, will be slightly harder, maybe. Uh, and then we'll have something to actually talk about. But yeah, thanks.